much. I'm finding so many books that I gave to my husband and we read together and stuff that actually belongs to me. And this was um, his ex, who, strangely enough, was my best friend once upon a time, and my platonic soulmate. This was her painting. Totally her taste. Um, what are they called? Pre-Raphaelites, yeah. So, we're quarantining really hard in my house. And uh, these are some of the books. This was his friend, Jeffrey Mason. This was given to us on our trip to Japan. He was fascinated by this book for a while, though it's a very different idea about, it's like about being brutally honest, which was not his thing. I don't remember this book, but I certainly would like to live a game through life. I'm, I, I have to leave. Technically, all the stuff belongs to my extended family, but I don't see why a book that I gave my husband that has nothing to do with his career or family life, like Isabel Allende, should be... Uh, and this is just, he would always write me from Gronenbach. I need, to, I need to find a stamp. <laughs> I thought I had stamps. I left a bunch of them in East Oakland. I don't know what this is, but I can remember it. And it's always good to have a photo album. This is like an antique. That's cool. <clears throat> this is a cool, interesting looking book. And this, a lot of times when I was trying to figure out, um, trying to get rid of my books, uh, and try to figure out which ones to give away or sell, he would take someone and put them in his <sighs> bookshelf. That's Claudio. That's a little present I gave him. This is one of the um, journals that publishes some of my poems. Uh, Becoming Jane Austen, that's cool. Uh, Saint Germain, Madeleine Poirot, she sounds just like um, Billie Holiday. The Goddess Paintings, Virgin Mary, Friends, Mad Men, my favorite TV show of all time, Lauren McCall, The Princess Bride. This is the last gift Claudio gave to me. These are his buttons. And that is a um, Buddhist, a female Buddhist saint, an important one, a bodhisattva. Qui-Gon, no, Qui-Gon Jinn, that's like the bad guy in Batman. Uh, Quan Lee, I think. Okay. The Candor channel, everybody. I'm feeling really good about my channel. It's, some people are dropping out of the group because it's too much for them, but they're being polite about it. I don't want to hear anybody else telling me that if my goddaughter has a life-threatening illness and I have no longer have the financial resources to fully help her, that that's artistic pseudo-drama compared to what's happening in the world stage that could affect his children. Well, this is my spiritual daughter, and she is being affected. It's like, a um, to use a word that she's more comfortable using than I am, it's like a ghetto fairy tale. And I'm the fairy godmother with limited powers, but, um, you know, she, she's going to have to be home by midnight, but I'll make sure that we find those glass slippers. Bye.